you know, they, they came in and, uh, you know, what I love about them is their perseverance because they came in with a loaded team that all of a sudden are sophomores, they're looking around and three guys are in the NBA and the other, and, 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 and then uh, Karras is injured. And all of a sudden they had to fight through, you know, a lot of hard things. And uh, then as I think sometimes uh, the worst thing that happened to us last year sometimes is making the NCAA tournament. We made it. I don't think it toughened us up enough that we, 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 we had to do what we had to do to get ready. And as, as this season went on, those two took it personally that we were going to make this work, right? That we were going to be better in we were going to be better in February than we were last year. We we're going to be better in March, and they demanded it. So that's they they were incredible leaders, as well as Mark and Sean and Andrew more behind the scenes. John, going off that, these guys their freshman year played in the Big Ten championship game, lost to Michigan State. Yeah. So for them in their senior year to be able to go out and yeah. beat a very good Wisconsin team, yeah. what does that mean to them and what does it mean to you? I, you know, anytime you go in a championship, now that this league is 14 teams, I mean, just think of the odds there. I, I don't care. You see what, what teams can do in this tournament. So uh, I, I, it means a lot to everyone. To, to, you look at Michigan's, Michigan's about winning, winning championships, the champions of the West, right? That's who we are. And so we talk about it every day. So for those two guys to be able to put two of those up right now in four years, uh, it's a huge thing for them. And that's their legacy. That'll be part of their legacy. With everything that's happened this week, just how happy are you that you guys made it through? You won, overcame yep. some adversity along the way. I mean, I'm I'm elated, but I'm not like, like one of those guys that's going to show you that a great deal. I might show that team that. I we're just, you know, it's a lot of work. Uh, you you have we've had roughly 100 practices. We've had 20, you know, what I mean, 30 some games or yeah, 30 some games already. There's a lot of work goes into it, and uh, right now I'm I'm happy. And we, I think we all need a little rest. We need about a day or two um, just to, to sit back and get ready for Oklahoma State. Coach, we were talking to Derek in the locker room. He just used the word perspective. That you gained a lot of perspective this week. You know, over these last yeah. five days, what perspectives have you gained? I think all of us need to – I don't think we need to have that type of things to shake you up, but I think all of us uh, have events in our life that we're going to give us perspective. And I know that shook everybody out, up. And I don't, like I said, I don't think it bothered me for a day. It was just about going out of your business. I think about it all the time now of just think what could have happened or at value, you know, every time you go home, every hug with Kathleen, seeing the grandkids, seeing these kids at practice every day. It's, it's, it's a little different. I, I hope it never goes away that I understand, you know, what it's like uh, to va you gotta value what you have every single day. We talk about it, I preach it, and then I don't do it. Uh, I want to do it more. And now that you've won, how do you make this, this, this week, how do you value that? Well, I think that, uh, you know, winning has never been the thing that I really coached about. It was about, uh, I wanted to be a teacher and a coach. These guys know that, a social studies teacher, and, and help you know, be the mentor to people that the great, uh, my, that my parents were and that my teachers in high school were. I had tremendous mentors. And that's all I really wanted to do. So that's the real measure. If you get these championships, hey, that's, that's great stuff too. But I, that's not the measure of our success. Uh, it may be for you guys right now. That, that, will take it, that will happen if you try and do the right things. Zach, in the last five games, it's really elevated this game. What's been yeah. the key to that, and how big has that been for you? I, th I think he's really just relaxed and let the game come to him and not pressed. But he's worked really hard. He's in the gym extra. When, when I want these guys off their feet, him and Duncan, Right? Don't li they listen to me a lot. They don't listen to me then. And he's in the gym just keep making another 100 shots. And uh, so he's, he's, he he's, was very disappointed with some games when we needed him to make big shots. He didn't. I think he probably heard the people that doubted him. Uh, I knew at some point he would, he would make some big plays. That lob play to DJ uh, uh, Wilson was a great play for us to just get big points. The, uh with how odd this week was and kind of the emotions yeah. that you guys had, how do you bottle this and take it to Indianapolis? That that I got to think about for two days. I got to think about first getting this rest, but then I think we'll continue the theme of let's have a great appreciation for each day and go at, attack each day like it's the last day we have. I think that's the best way to do it. That's what we've been doing. And um, you know, like I said, we, I don't think any of you guys here live your life like that. Right until you have those type of experience, then you sort of appreciate it more. But somehow we got to do that, and I, that's what, I, what you have to do. But with business, will be normal. We'll have a hard practice. Uh, we'll watch a lot of film, 
and uh, we will uh, we'll make sure that they're well prepared for Oklahoma State. 37.